Hey, what up, YouTube? Um, today I thought I'd do a review for you on the uh, the new Triple Eight Racer helmet. Um, first off, uh, fresh out the box, it, it comes in this little uh, cardboard box. Um, it has the the markings up there, saying that it has that uh, CPSC and ATSM markings uh, for the mountain biking racing and uh, the standard bicycle safety. Um, regulations that it meets both of those standards um, but out of the box uh, it comes with this bag uh, that has the large uh, cheek pads on it I got the large XL so it comes with the XL uh, pads already snapped in there um, and then it comes with some uh, some smaller just kind of filler pads uh, to, to fill some space you know it's not very not very thick um, and then a couple other, um, a couple other small pieces, you know, to, to help get that fit just right. Um, but then you got the uh, the actual helmet itself. Uh, it comes in this nice uh, microfiber bag um, for for transport. Um, and uh, there it is, Triple Eight Racer. Um, Comes with this nice, nice arrow back. Uh, just gives it a little bit of a more aerodynamic look without having that uh, that full tail, which you know can sometimes be dangerous. Um, the visor isn't a predator; it's just up or down. Um, there's no ratchet system. Uh, it's got a clip for the for the buckle. Um, the inside is really, really nice. Uh, it's really comfortable. Um, the only thing, the only complaint that I have about this helmet is that I have a, I have a larger head, um, and I did read that the uh, the larger head can tend to cause problems uh, with your chin and jawline. Uh, it's protruding from the bottom of the helmet, um, which obviously isn't good when you're when you're using it and you need it to protect you uh, if you're going to be having those big spills. Um, but other than that, I really really like it. Uh, I'm in love with the shape. Uh, it looks a lot like a, a Vector um, M4 or the new M5 that's coming out. You know, they have a pretty similar look. Um, it's got the racing stripes. That, it's not a sticker. Um, it's an actual graphic, so it's, uh, you know, it's not going to peel off. Same with the, the Triple Eight on the back and the little Triple Eight logo up there. Um, all the graphics on there are all, uh, they're all painted on or, or laid on there. I'm not exactly sure, but they're not stickers, which is the important part. Um, but I can uh, put this on for you so you can see kind of kind of how it fits. Um, there we go. Uh, put that up. Put that down. So it's uh, it's it's pretty sweet. Um, the only problem I have is that since I do need to cover my chin, uh, I have to really pull this part down, um, which causes this strap to sit right against my neck. Um, and I know that, at least on this little piece of uh, paper that says, right here, the instructions, um, it says that it's supposed to, you know, sit, the strap should sit right against your neck snugly, but not cause any discomfort. Um, and for me at least, it's kind of to the point of discomfort. Uh, when I'm down in a full tuck, it doesn't seem to cause any problems, obviously, because it's, uh, you know, my, my head's out, and so it causes the strap to, to hang freely instead of when I'm sitting like this and it's pushing right against my neck. Um, so I'm not 100% sure on it, um, but overall, you know, quality-wise, it's really good. The only thing that I noticed, but that's just because I'm super picky, was right out of the box when I ordered this, um, you can see, maybe not, there's a little bit of discoloration right about here. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it kind of looks like a little nick. And there's no real paint there. Also, right along here, I don't know if you can tell, probably not. It doesn't look like it. Uh, but it's, uh, the way that it was laid is really kind of sketchy. It's not very even. There's kind of a big, um, a really sharp incline. Um, but 